I bet you've heard about Web3 by now. If you haven't, I made a whole video about it which you can check out by clicking here. At any rate, it's a new and upcoming market that's predicted to be worth billions of dollars in the years to come. With all that money flowing in, the next best question is, how can I get some of it? Well, in this video, I'll take you through 7 ways to make money from Web3. So why not try your luck? The first approach is actually a type of investing, in something called DAOs. Now, you're probably wondering, what does investing in DAOs mean? DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization, and it's basically like a shareholder committee or a board that steers a particular platform. One example is MakerDAO, the protocol that governs DAI, one of the most popular stablecoins around. Whenever the board wants to change something in how MakerDAO and ultimately DAI works, they have to send it out for a vote. Each proposed change is created as a proposal that members can vote on. Which members exactly? Well, those holding a certain amount of Maker Tokens, which is MakerDAO's governance token. They can get them in exchange for investing in the project. Holding tokens actually has several benefits. The value of the Maker Token could appreciate in the future, depending on how the platform performs. It's not the only example of a DAO out there either. Some DeFi DAOs like Uniswap and SushiSwap also directly give the holders of their governance tokens a portion of the trading fees that the platform charges. In a sense, it's like passive income. You could even start your own DAO if you can get others on board for a project you have in mind. As a founder, your stake in the project could be substantial, with potentially significant returns. But this could clearly require a lot more effort, and the chances of success might be quite remote. So what about a more active or stable pathway? Let's dive deeper into programming for Web 3.0. Blockchain developers are in seriously high demand, with an average salary of over $100,000 at the end of 2023. As such, this pathway could be a fantastic option if you're already familiar with programming. Considering that Solidity, the most popular blockchain programming language, is similar in some ways to JavaScript, which is commonly used in web development, the transition could be quite painless. Even if you're not a programmer by profession, you might be able to upskill yourself using one of the many coding platforms available online. Once you build up a reasonable portfolio and get some security experience, you could offer your services as a freelancer or a regular employee. Blockchain developers on Upwork can charge hourly rates between $30 to $60 on average, with potential for much higher rates as you grow. Not to mention, you can even try making your own dApp if you have an idea that you think will be profitable. But what if you don't have the time to invest in redeveloping your career? So how about a side business trading NFTs? Like crypto, NFTs suffered somewhat during 2023, but have kept their popularity thanks to their potential to skyrocket in value. If you manage to time things right, trading NFTs can be a profitable side hustle. Once you get the hang of it, it could even become a full-time gig. The process is fairly simple but definitely monotonous. Typically, it involves trying to get in on the best deals early and staying as up-to-date as possible on the latest developments. This means trawling X, Discord, Telegram, and other websites to find new and promising NFT projects just as they are introduced. You could even grow your own social media presence in the Web 3.0 or NFT space and start something called an alpha group. These NFT alpha groups essentially create a managed fund, meaning you can make the best NFT investments collectively. It's all pretty cutting edge. But if you don't really have the risk appetite for getting in early on NFT trading, there are still other ways to piggyback off of it. You could even consider a more traditional business model. Let's explore opening a Web 3.0 media agency. A Web 3.0 media agency focuses on providing marketing services for projects in the space. Think of a normal media agency, but add in novel aspects such as running campaigns for NFT projects. Web3 marketing requires a different approach, focusing on crypto-centric circles such as Discord, Telegram, and Twitter to push out information. For example, in August 2023, Coca-Cola dropped the Masterpiece NFT collection, which featured famous artworks on Coca-Cola bottles. Other established brands and new Web3 brands would also require marketing services, which is where you would come in. Now, an agency does require a significant time investment and a knack for sourcing connections, but the returns could also be huge. And by the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. All in all, the marketing approach could be an especially viable option if you already had experience. But if you think it would require too much of your time, there are still other alternatives. One such example is Metaverse e-commerce. 
The metaverse aims to become a kind of Ready Player One digital world where you can buy and sell digital assets. According to one estimate, the digital wearable's market value could grow to around $5 billion by 2031. There was even a fashion week earlier in April 2023 in an online metaverse game called Decentraland. Lots of popular brands are getting involved, including Adidas, Tommy Hilfiger, Dolce & Gabbana, and more. If you manage to create perceived value around your own brand, fashion or otherwise, you could become a Web3 e-commerce business owner. It might be branded shirts, accessories, or whatever tools or games you think might appeal to a new audience using the metaverse. Think Shopify, but for digital, non-physical products. There are even possibilities to start making money on Web3, which haven't been seen in any capacity before. And that brings us to earning with P2E games. In the traditional video game model, you level up your character as you play, right? Over time, you become stronger, more capable, and more valuable. However, it's always been difficult to sell your character or belongings for a profit unless it was over a gray market. P2E games are different, letting you earn from and even sell your in-game assets, turning them into real-world value. One of the best examples of a P2E game is Axie Infinity. On the surface, it might seem like a Pokemon-themed game, but there is a lot more going on. There is a catch that you need to invest in your characters, known as axes, to start playing. This initial investment depends a lot on the current state of the market, meaning the cost can vary. As you play, your axes gain experience and increase in value, similar to traditional games. The biggest difference is that you can sell your leveled up axes as NFTs on platforms like OpenSea or even rent them out to other players. The earnings from these rentals or sales could turn into a solid source of real income. It's something new that introduces both active and passive earning methods in gaming. But if you enjoy growing an audience organically and building a personal brand in Web3, there might be a better way for you. Now let's take a closer look at content creators in Web3.0. Much like how this video is educating you about Web3, you might find your own niche in Web3 and provide people with valuable content about it. For video content, you could post on legacy platforms like YouTube or shift to exclusive Web3 platforms like Flixo. In fact, platforms like Flixo reward creators with the platform's native currency. For non-video content, you can build your presence by maintaining a Twitter or Discord channel, maybe branching out into new Web3 applications as they develop. Building your brand as a creator through these platforms can give you returns in the future. It could be through affiliate marketing or just maybe by creating your own Web3 products like NFT collections. To recap, in this video, I went over seven different ways you can start earning with Web3. Some of the options offer you passive income, like investing in DAOs, trading NFTs, and some P2E games. Other routes are more time-intensive, like programming, setting up your agency, metaverse e-commerce, and content creation. Ultimately, the path you take depends on where you feel you have the best edge and, of course, how much time and energy you are willing to invest. Before you go, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Good luck out there. I'll talk to you soon.